So year four is underway, as I mentioned in the last video, and we are uh, starting things off in a little bit different pattern than we normally do. A lot of times we just head west, northwest usually, uh, but this time we're doing it differently and we're heading north uh, and enjoying the Great Lakes and then uh, going across to Maine and then we'll wander down the south uh, to the southeast for Christmas. So definitely, definitely different than our normal pattern. But we are in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. So we are Ubers <laughs> for the time being. But in the not too distant future, we will be trolls. <laughs> and it's kind of funny because the uh, Michigan folks refer to one another as Ubers and trolls. So if you live uh, below the bridge, the Mackinac Bridge that connects the Upper Peninsula with the Michigan quote unquote mainland. If you live beneath that bridge, then you are a troll. And if you live uh, on the other side of that bridge in the Upper Peninsula, the UP as it's known, uh, you are a youper. <laughs> and the uh, northern Michigan area above Wisconsin is uh, it's like being on the coast but they have a saying here something to the effect of uh, no salt no sharks no worries <laughs> and uh, you know referring to the fresh water of the Great Lakes but very much like uh, being on the ocean and uh, I've tried to tried to get a, a ship loading. I wanted to see iron ore actually being loaded on a ship. And that process hasn't changed much because we looked at the old ore loading facility in downtown um, Marquette and looked at the new facility. The new facility is longer, but very much the same process. The ore is, is uh, emptied from silos via large chutes that are simply lowered and then gravity does does the rest of the work and they fill the ore facility with rail cars from above that dump into the into the hoppers if you will so i wanted to catch that process but you know these ships don't operate on a on a really set schedule so uh, things like weather and mechanical issues, many of those kinds of things, loading delays or unloading delays, uh, you know, slow them down or, or keep them from, from being in any kind of a set schedule. Uh, so uh, I tried to, to make it today to get one, but uh, I just missed it and uh, the ship was leaving as, uh, as uh, I pulled up. So I did, I did get some video of it, of it leaving the, the loading facility, but it's fascinating. That ship, which looks fine, is older than I am, uh, which gives you an idea how long how long some of these boats will last. But shipping's a big deal on the Great Lakes and has been for a long time. And we took a tour to look at, at shipwrecks, and uh, it was pretty cool. Oh, 
seeing these things uh, you know in the shallow areas you can you you can go on a glass bottom boat like we did and just enjoy and enjoy the narrative that goes on while you're looking through the, through the bottom of the boat but uh, the thing is about up north you know it's uh, you, you have to appreciate the days when they're nice because the season's short up here and it's already feeling like fall and a lot of days are cloudy and that's just the Great Lakes you know so you really appreciate those bright sunny days when you get them and uh, you don't let the weather stop you when you don't don't have them average temperature lake lake superior is 42 degrees this time of year <laughs> so uh it's not uh it's not the warmest of lakes it's deep and it's big and it holds that cold you know a long time uh, the surface temperature is a lot closer to 70 degrees, so when you're close to the beach, you can certainly swim. It's not, not like you can't enjoy the water or anything. But beautiful area. Trees, you know, forests everywhere. Not a lot of people uh, come here. It's not a huge tourist destination, but obviously it does get used for that in the summer. But our advantage is that we start out after Labor Day. You know, we sit for m much of the summer so that uh, when we go, it's much less crowded. And of course, a lot of times things aren't open anymore, but that's okay. That's okay. You know, we, uh, we don't need a, a, a lot of that. But we have been uh, enjoying the sights and, uh, you know, just checking out what's around here and kind of watching, watching what goes on in the environment and enjoying our National Forest Service campground for 10 bucks a night. You know, good cell service, good good satellite, and 10 bucks a night. That's uh, pretty tough to beat. So thank you, Michigan. We appreciate it. <laughs>